Hey guys, how you doing? Justin here with Tuck Fly Shop. Um, I am hopping on here, hopping on this side of the camera today to share a cool new product with you that we are bringing into the shop. Uh, Breakline Optics have been a company now for a few years. Uh, I found out about them about a year and a half ago and been really, really happy with a, with a couple pair of glasses from them that I have. Um, <clears throat> super lightweight, very good optically. Um, the lenses are shatterproof. The list goes on for why I like it. So I'm gonna kind of talk about that, go over some of the features of some of these glasses with you today. Um, we have the four, what I consider the four most popular frames from Breakline here. Um, they have some other frame options on their website. If you're interested in that, I'll leave a link with their website down below. If, you, if there's a frame that you want, go check it out, call me, we can order it for you. But the four we have here in the store we have the Bertha frame, we have the Stash frame, the Oversole, and the Cahaba. The Oversole and the Cahaba were two of the original frames that come out um, a few years ago. I have a pair of the Oversoles. It's actually this pair right here on my head. And I had a pair of the Cahaba frames that I would use for fishing. And whenever the Bertha frame come out, the big boy here, uh, I started fishing in those. So with that being said, I'm gonna start with that one and then work our way down and kind of talk about some different features of the frames and the glass and stuff like that. So this here, this is the Bertha frame. It's the big extra large frame. It gives you the full maximum coverage. There's no light gonna come through. I highly recommend these when you're on the water. This is the matte black frame with the copper lens, which is my go-to setup <clears throat> for any creek river situation uh even red fishing and stuff like that in the in the flats like they do really well down there as well um the next one is the cahaba um, the cahaba here is with their green mirror i really really like their green mirror um, i've wore i have a pair of berthas in the green mirror and really like it a lot if i could only pick one color like lens it may be green mirror just because it may not do something as well as the other it does everything really really good um, it doesn't let as much light in as the copper does but you still get some really good low light capability with them and i just really like the green mirror this is the green mirror from them with their tortoise frame on the cahaba the next one i'll show you is the oversole <clears throat> it's really similar to the cahaba a bit more uh, coverage on the side here uh, this is with their tortoise frame and again their green mirror uh, where the oversole and the cahaba would come into play is if you have a, a smaller face or you don't like that very big like bug eye big glass fill like you get from a bertha um, then i highly highly recommend the cahaba or the oversole to you then the last one that i have here is the stash the stash kind of is more of that squared off look kind of gives you like that wayfarer uh, style like from ray-ban and some other companies like that um, so if you're into that you like that um, i highly recommend these this is in their new gunmetal tortoise huge fan of the gunmetal tortoise i really uh really want a pair of gunmetal tortoise frame glasses from them sick i really like them um, this is and this is with their blue mirror lens uh, the blue mirror is really good for offshore um, everyday driving uh, really I mean they're good for anything they just don't they don't let as much light in as the copper or the green mirror does I know I explained all this stuff to you and about every major sunglass company sells something similar or like their version of the same thing so why break line well break line a um, couple things that I like that they do is I like how lightweight their glasses are and some of that helps with not using glass lenses instead of using glass in their lenses they use a duraclear trivex material the trivex material is a material that you see uh, like on apache helicopter windshields you will see it on fighter jet canopies and some different things like that it's a shatterproof ultra ultra strong material that is optically near perfect so you get that glass optical like image quality if you will like when you're looking through them but you don't have the weight of glass and you have the strength and and the shatterproofness of the trivex you can literally sit here and beat these glasses with a hammer and the lenses won't break 
Um, they are all ANSI certified lenses. Um, I have actually on a couple guide trips have some clients have like some big four mil bead stone fly nymphs and things like that come up and hit me in the eye before with my sunglasses on and they just kind of pop it I kind of hit it and bounce off um, and didn't didn't leave a scuff didn't leave a scratch it just kind of tink boom and it was gone so that that's a great peace of mind knowing you know that they didn't crack they didn't bust they're going to be strong and last a long time I also disclaimer here this is why you should wear your sunglasses whenever you're on the water obviously it's so you can see you know in the water kind of see what you're doing cut the glare off with the polarization but it's also like a safety a safety thing you know we want to keep our eyes we want to keep our eyes in our head you know we want to keep everything safe we want to be able to see we don't want to lose an eye or have something because whenever the hooks and stuff like that i've heard some awful stories about that so always wear your sunglasses when you're on the water um, super super important another thing that i like about uh, b uh, the brake lines and it's something that may only matters to me but it's a reason why that i wear them i'm a big guy you know i get hot and these sunglasses the berthas and the oversoles i know they don't fog up on me like some of the other companies do that i've owned in the past i said i've worn the berthas now for roughly a year year and a half and i think they may have fogged up once or twice on me in just for a couple seconds but i can't recall the time a time where they fogged up on me um, when some of the other glasses that i've worn in the past like they would fog up constantly if it was humid and i was hot and then you have to pull them down off your nose you know lift your hat up to try to get them to vent so it's just just something a little thing that i like that brake line's doing and like i said that may only matter to me and other people's mileage may vary i encourage you to try it because that's something that's like a, a leading thing for me so all the brake line sunglasses have a lifetime warranty they also all come with a clamshell case like this to put your glasses in and each one also comes with a microfiber cloth and a koozie uh, if you have any questions comment down below if you're wearing brake line or have any questions on these brake line sunglasses i'll be more than happy to help you out if you have any questions give us a call at 828-488-3333 i appreciate it and until next time see you on the water